Hi, this is King of Review. Here we need to figure out how many integers satisfy this inequality. So let's see if we can solve this inequality. To get rid of log base 3, we need to use a property of logs that says if you raise a number b to the log base b of x, b and log base b cancel and we're left with just x. Since 3 is the base of my log, let's raise 3 to the power of both sides of the problem. 3 to the power log base 3 cancels, and we're left with x minus 1. 3 to the second power is 9. Adding 1 on both sides gives us x is less than or equal to 10. Now we were asked how many integers satisfy this solution. There are an infinite number of integers that are less than or equal to 10. However, not all of them will work. And that's because logs have certain restrictions. The number inside of a log, in this case x minus 1, can't be 0 or a negative number. In other words, it must be positive. If we add 1 to both sides of this problem, we see that x has to be greater than 1. To show this visually on a number line, x has to be greater than 1, and we also know it can be at most 10. So if we were to write this as one compound inequality, it would say 1 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 10. Now we need to decide how many integers there are in this interval. 1 does not count because it's 1 is less than x, not 1 is less than or equal to x. So we have to start with 2, and then if we count all the integers in between there and 10, Notice we can include 10 because this is less than or equal to 10. We see that there are in total 9 integers in that interval. So there's our answer. Thanks for watching.